EA Games Challenge everything. A terrorist base destroyed by American forces while defending civilians. Our victorious forces continue their liberation against a struggle. What's the story? Good area. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. All finished. Wanna make some improvements? Let's get to work. Let's get to work. EA Games Challenge everything. A terrorist base destroyed. Good area. Let's get to work. Lay in the foundation. Let's get to Any work. Any more projects? Want to make some improvements? Let's get to work. New construction? Let's get to work. Any more projects? Let's get to work. What's the mission, sir? What's the Let's mission, sir? Let's get to work. What's the mission, sir? What's the mission, sir? Want to make some improvements? Make What's my mission, own sir? road. Make my own What's road. What's the mission, sir? Unit lost. How to make AI work in your custom maps the easy way. This tutorial will help you understand what do you need to do to make the AI work in your maps the easy way, with pictures to make it even easier. Okay, so first off all you have to open or create your own map. I will use my Desert Storm map. The second thing you need to do is make the skirmish arena. This is basically the whole map. So you have to select the polygon tool, marked with red. And now click on the four corners of the map like this. When you will click on all the four corners in the right side panel type, skirmish arena, marked with red. Now you need to make the point where the players will spawn. So select the waypoint tool, marked with red. Then in the right side panel select, player underscore one underscore start, for first player, 
player underscore two underscore start for the second player and so on and click on the place where you want the first player spawn. Now to let the AI build it needs some build space. So now you have to select the polygon tool and make the place around the player underscore one underscore start point like this. Forward slash forward slash the yellow line is the build space. Now in the right side panel select inner perimeter one for first player and so on. Next you need to make the place where the AI will build its defenses. It has to be named outer perimeter one and it has to surround the inner perimeter for first player and so on. Forward slash forward slash outer perimeter is made like the inner perimeter. Now the AI is almost done. There's just three things left the combat zone, the teams, and the attack waypoints. So first of all the combat zone. It's the place surrounding the whole battlefield except the player and AI bases. So it basically covers all the map except for the player bases. To make the combat zone, you need to select the polygon tool and mark everything that's on the map and around the bases. So mark everything around the bases and when you do so on the right side panel in the selection place type in combat zone. Like this. Forward slash forward slash the yellow line is the combat zone. When you completed the combat zone you need to add the attack waypoints that the AI will follow when attacking. So basically what you have to do is click on the waypoint tool and then on the combat zone and drag to the inner perimeter of the player's base and label it center one if it's first player base and so on. Like this. Forward slash forward slash the arrow indicates the direction. Then make another one like the first one and label it flank one and another one and label it backdoor one. Forward slash forward slash make them in different places to one base that wire the harder the AI the more directions it will use to attack. And now the last part make the AI. To do so just click edit edit player list add skirmish players. That is it finished, now your AI should work try it and if you have any problems leave a comment.